Hello guys, and welcome back to another part of Hardcore Calamity, this time in Vengeance Modes. Just noticing how quick we get through the game, it's like part 16, and we're already like going towards the Moon Lord, that's quite fast, comparing that are uh, like, that one of my, of the, the one Revengeance playthrough ended like suddenly by not even going really past Moon Lord, I think it was, and we were like at part 32 entire. I'll take it. Let's do, let's do, let's add to edits, faster playthrough. And I mean, it's not like it's not like looking in any bad right now. I have the feeling I have like some some kind of less effective accessory, maybe, but there's nothing really there. So we have nothing else to do except cultist right now. He's the next he's the next big thing blocking our progress. Giving us a new crafting station, we definitely definitely need for new things. Mostly for like the the what? A year this thing. The Napros Titus. And yeah, you go away. Not hitting me. That's another frost bear, what the hell? Um But yeah. Tenebrous Titan Titus is the next big thing there. We can make it right after we meet the cultists. At least I think we can. We should have all the materials. Probably not the Tenebrous though. So I'm gonna prepare for this one and then quickly go to the dungeon and slay that dude. And I don't think it's gonna be that big of a problem. Otherwise, before we before we say we beat the cultists, let me actually see if he spawns there because we had to mine out the dungeon by the way, mini guy from last time, nullification pistol, funny stuff. Um I hope this doesn't cause any big problems, but let's go here and as expected we have a problem. Is a clear Let's spell build up this thing, but I think it may be impossible for them to spawn right now, which is kind of a problem to be fair. Wait, actually... Oh, oh let's go. It is existing tablet. We cannot craft it, so it's, it has to be like the same... It has to be like the same spot as you normally get it. So instead of like now, instead of like now cheating in him in and something, I would say we try to go finally for like a good leg legit route here. And do something I never like really did, I just knew it existed, but we're gonna go for Idolists. Idolists, they spawn here in the dungeon after I think Plantera. I hope they do. I may need to google that out, look that up. Well... There's a good there's a good thing and a bad thing. Um Yes, it exists the tablet and we can get it. The bad thing about it is that uh, they only spawn in the third layer of the abyss. Damn. There's one idolist. Alright, Idolist and there's a Colossal Squid. That's the bad things about Abyss. Um, we need to watch I have a close eye on that thing. Oh my. Oh my god. I. Oh god. This was one of the worst things ever. And I hope never it happens not again. Um Well A sort of fun fact I bought myself a few world warpers to always teleport down there and we just had this giant eel that has like three hundred thousand health. Just always spawning there. For like no good reason he has always and only a set, which makes it easier to dodge him, but he the head contact damage was still like 90 damage and he's like having more health than like one boss at the moment so that is kind of unfair 
At least we got like lucky on the on the third idolist in this world. But then we have an Eidolon tablet. We can summon a cultist with that. So I think if I have the same problem in death mode, then I will just go and rebuild the dungeon from scrap on. Even I, I, even not, I could not even do that. I mean, look at this. It it literally crashed right here, and I can literally not remove this ore blocks. This is one thing that absolutely sucks. I wish they would like spawn in the second layer where it's like still dangerous, but they spawn more early there. So you have to use like battle and Zerg and make it more risky there, but then you have the chance to have them spawn. Whatever we we have to summon that's actually that actually scared me. That was a spooky trip to the abyss. I've never never thought I would go that I need to go that far. Just to get one eye, just to get uh, some, to just to be the boss. Well, we have our equipment bag, we are still alive. And. That is the island and tablets. I'm so happy I got it. I was like, I was like, every time the yield spawned, I was like, yeah, let's teleport home. And now this time I was like, yeah. Let's not teleport home. There's an idolist. At least try to kill it. If we if we get hit one time, we can still like quickly use the recall potions. Best fast teleport ever. And be safe with that. But I don't. I didn't need it. Whatever. Let's use the teleporters we have. By the way, I use this teleporters to always teleport right here. It's the start of the third layer because I have not no interest in like going down there every time. There's like nothing even dangerous. I would say there's like close to nothing really dangerous anymore. If you would just watch out in the first few layers. It's at layer 3 where the strong enemies start to spawn. And since we are here, let's go here. Pretend we pretend we killed the cultists and buff up. There it is. And let's go over here. Oh yeah, this thing, watch out, this thing freezes me now. I don't think I want to get frozen by that. Oh god. Okay, there's some us. And there's some more in. Okay, there's a, it's a bit more different to fights, but I definitely watch out here. Because I don't want to get frozen by that. I don't think it's a bad thing. Oh god, Shadow Flame. Okay, that's strong. Why are they here? Okay, let me watch out. I think we should. That is cool. This is so cool. They changed the ancient doom set, and I like that. That's a. Uh, it's one of the sickest changes ever, from the cultists. It looks so good. It's actually it's actually doable to dodge that, and it just looks so sick. I think we failed it. We didn't. Surprise, surprise, I didn't fail it. Mainly starting to use the mainly starting to use the brandy baron, but I come on, it's a small boss, don't care. And my my crafting station, I made it so you can like place this one up here, and finally we can craft things. Um, actually we have enough luminal now, 
since I killed like a few enemies down there that drop it. And I'm gladly happy that I don't need to go down there. I I have to say it like it is. Now with the influx wave and all other things, we should be easily able to make the Tenebrous Titus. Um, with the Luminil, all those weapons, strong Tenebrous Titus. I actually can't wait to see if this thing is still completely broken. So let me quickly, if you don't have any idea what I mean with broken... The thing is, this thing is absolutely bro was absolutely broken against Deus. If you hit an enemy, it does that. And if you hit like many enemies, it does that many times. I think this will definitely be just absolutely broken again. It's nothing else. Okay, there's like... So basically just need like a lot of solar fragments. And here goes one thing down then. I'm just gonna use battle or just gonna use Zerg. Let's 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 just use Zerg. I don't wanna over over overdo myself here. Let's buff up and let's go farm some solar fragments to make some items and then we let's then we prepare for like what we need against Tears. Alright, that's Solar Pillar. I actually didn't want it to kill it, but since it got like half killed due to the Trident doing its thing. Well, there was that then. Um, so, I still afterwards we should have enough fragments to like make at least everything I want. We don't need that many, I think. And if not, then it's like... Quite unlikely, we'll just farm from the other pillars enough then. And that's already all the fragments. We have 150, we have 147, that should be quite a bunch to go. I don't think, I don't think we need that many. Also, like, I don't want to craft all of, the, all of the items since, like, most of them are really bad anyways. Otherwise, you have solar fragments. Which makes the solar eruption and the daybreak. I actually want to make the daybreak. Daybreaks with like 400 damage seems really, really good. After a while, otherwise, I don't think the harvester. I think the harvester may be a nice weapon to farm off the pillars. Actually, it's let's let's try it out. <laughs> Well, there goes the Vortex Pillar, just quickly cleared. So, the Soul Harvest is nice there, but it's not its not really that great. We have the, we have the Teneva Strident. I think I completely just missed out on the, on the truck, on the Soul Harvester. It's a good, it's a good weapon, but I think I completely just forgot about it and therefore it's useless for me. But you have Vortex Fragments. And with said what is fragments, I think I'll keep the Briny Baron as a homing weapon. The Aegis Blade for like good melee damage. Let me see, I'm gonna sort some things out. Like I, the Tenebrous Trident is definitely my weapon to go. I don't think we need the old blade. I the explosion is good, but to be fair, I don't think it will be like meltingly good against Deus. Even even then we have the Tenebrous Trident, which would definitely shred him and like 10 seconds. Okay, we have like half of the world for arena. I'm actually actually too lazy to make an arena here. So I will probably just fight it on here and remove the tree. I would say I quickly remove the tree and then we go for then we go for we can even we can remove the how does it work? Add an astral beacon. And by the way, since I have like I I would I want a quick thing to do. I even I like the little guy there. I'm like somewhat scared that we will like.
I'm sorry for the guy, but I'm actually somewhat scared that this guy will like somehow break the game and lose me some, some of my progress. So let's kill him and wait until he returns normally. Sorry, little one. I did not want you to do that. And one thing before we go. The Absorber. Let me farm for that. Let me get all the materials together for this one. I think we have we have everything. And there was some quick farming. We can make the absorber. Ignore my in, ignore my messy inventory. I just need. I just completely. I just completely had no turtle shell. Just dumb one big turtle shell because I wasted one for the other armor piece. Do we have the absorber? Um, upgrades for. Well, kind of for just my, just my gelatin. But giving me quite a bit, quite a bunch of nice effects, I think. It's nice effects. Um, we have teleporters, so let's quickly go here. Do you have like a whole free arena here to fight on? And since there's nothing in my way then, um... I'll see how bad the debuff is, otherwise I switch it in for the Charm of Mist. Charm of Mist, I don't think we can... Yeah, we need the... We need the uh, potions for that, otherwise we cannot make it. Oh, potions. We need the Astral Bars, which are lying here. Um, Trident, we have an Aegis Blade, we have safe range. Um, Actually, you know what? Just because we have the materials, let's don't be let's don't be greedy, man. Let's do not be greedy. Solar eruption. See if they, maybe maybe it's a good weapon. But here goes. I would say buff up. We have everything. Uh, it's a ritual only performed at night. Sure. And he was the awesome spawning animation. This one is amazing. And look at just look at this. You cannot tell me this is not gonna melt. Well, let's switch in that. Let's melt. Let the melting begin. It's not as good as I used it used to be, I think, but it's still like really solid. Can definitely not say anything against it. It's it's, it's definitely weaker than before. That's for sure. But that's still fine by me. It's better than just always melting him away. I mean, just look at the damage. Never mind, I was wrong. Melting begins. He leaves all the mines all over the place. the bottom one what is that laser okay okay there's some oh god there's something new actually I have no idea about uh what's the other one Okay, there's lace. That's cool-looking laces. That's that's something new. I like that. Then.
Let's go for Trident. As easy as that. That's Astrum Deer's already done. And as normally he drops quite a bunch of quite a bunch of fragments. I would say we instantly go for a Luna Hook. Sorry, Ravager Claw, you're looking cool. Wouldn't it be cool if you get like uh Vanity Claw? Like imagine Imagine you have like the imagine you have like a Luna hook or like a later Bobbit hook and like all of the sudden the Bobbit all of the sudden you shoot out this like really long standard hook and all of, it's like really good. I know it's not that funny, but I kinda of would it kinda of would be a bit. Uh but whatever. With that we open it up and here really 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 awesome. Hide of the Astrum Deers. It's not, it's not an expert item or kind of the new drop you get instead of the uh, Astral Bulwark, which is really amazing. Let's hope it's still the same as before, as it used to be. It's really, really amazing. Taking damage or inflicting a true melee strike drops uh, an immense amount of Astral Stars from the try. Inflicting a true melee strike? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Um, that was not me. Are you kidding me, man? Is this like now like change broken? Hold on, we need true me we need a true melee. Alright, one one thing before we try that out, it seems to not work on da target dummies, but also before we do that, let's actually Let's actually upgrade my god, my Grand Guardian. But finally, here we can make the Grand Guardian. Which looks extreme. Kinda extreme, but I think it will be worth it. Hell, it... Hell, it will be. I don't think we need that, at le actually. And I don't think I don't think we need it. I would say we don't need the Aegis Blades. We have a better explosion sword. Hell yeah, this is good. I have all my weapons. Let's rebuff. Let's go for another one and see if the, how see how good this thing is. Actually, Wormy boy, hit me. I have not seen the damage. Oh my god, this is so good. Holy damn. This is amazing. Jesus Christ. I think it's amazing. I like that. It's even. It seems like even cooler than before. Just say that. Just saying that. I of Astrum Dice. Definitely one of my favorites. Also, just noticing how good it is that we actually don't have uh, cultists at the dungeon, so we cannot actually summon him during like boss fights, which I definitely appreciate. Do so we have those? Um, those make actually some cool things. Let's go to Astral Blades. Uh, critical hits. Let's try it out. Actually, let's make the Hammax. Hammax looking cool. Astral Pig. We don't need it, but let's make it anyways. Uh, we could make the Starcore for more Astrum Deers. But it's not consumed, but it does. I think it's that important since it's an it's a nice thing, but the Titan Hearts are not hard to get and they always drop one. Um I could go for Astral Armor, but I think we'll with Beetle Armor we'll be better on there. Dyphic Amulets. And there we have it, the Dyphic Amulets. Um it's just I kinda I think it's really basically for me just for reduced health potion cooldown. I used it like for quite a long time and I actually never thought I would use it that long. 
Because I always went for something else, but the regeneration is definitely something nice there. Oh. Actually, it got scared for a moment. Because a boss health bar uh, appeared. Don't do that again. We can make the true biome. Oh, we can make the true biome blade. Let's quickly make that. Biome blades. Definitely bang. Definitely are. Awesome weapon. Um, otherwise, we could make the salt slice claymore after Moon Lord. Devastation after Moon Lord. I will definitely make the salt slice claymore. I'm really excited for that. Let's see. Galactical similarity. The thing I've, I never thought it was that good to be made right out. Moon Lord, Moon Lord. Moon Lord. Moon Lord. Okay. There's like nothing for me at the moment with those. I can I, I can't hate this. You can make them, but they don't make anything. It's not too bad though. Um but whatever. True biome blades. Um Let's quickly charge it up with Okay. Different effects. Um Quickly go let's go quickly through some of those. Alright, as far as I can tell, there's only now four of them obtained in different biomes, and they have like all just secondary mechanics, I guess. I think I may use this one, otherwise, I use this one for lifesteal. Alright, there we have it. Sanguine's, Sanguine's Fury for the healing and the chains. Otherwise, we have this thing as like a good close melee weapon. And this hook that swings around, freezing enemies and dealing damage. And well, well, it's it's a cool weapon, Allah. It's, it's still a cool weapon. Also, it upgrades into the Galaxia, which is... A different even effect I think you can I think we have like all the ones I don't know I don't know we see when we get there and then we can like get combine those two to make the make the arc of the cosmos the new arc of the cosmos I am really wondering how that works then I would say for now since there's nothing else to do we have the height of astrum deers which may not be the best thing to use but We'll see. Um, otherwise, I'll just. Otherwise, I'll just like switch back to the uh, Dyphic Amulet. Or the Cr Jealousy Crunch. I will. Since there's like nothing else to do now, I will. I would say. I just go for the last few pillars and then. We'll just go straight up to Moonlot. There's really. Quite literally nothing else to do.